What's up YouTubers and welcome to my CrossFit channel. Myself and many CrossFitters around the world are starting to prepare for the Open. The Open is a worldwide competition which is open to all levels, so from your Games athletes all the way down to your ordinary gym member like myself. In order for me to prepare for the Open, I'm going to be, be performing workouts uh, weekly, which I'm then going to upload to my YouTube channel for you all to see. The first workout is a spicy one, which is going to be a shoulder pump. We've got a 16 minute time cap, which is then split into two parts, part A and part B. Part A consists of dumbbell thrusters, starting at 10 reps and descending all the way down to one. In between each rep scheme, we perform 30 double unders. A double under is skipping, however the rope goes underneath the body twice in one jump. So we'll perform 10 dumbbell thrusters, 30 double unders, 9 dumbbell thrusters, 30 double unders, 8 dumbbell thrusters, and all the way down to 1. Upon completion of um, part A, we then move on to part B, which is an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, of strict handstand push-ups in the remaining 16 minute time cap. Let's do this. So what's up YouTubers? Just before we head into part of this workout, I would just like to say a huge thank you to the Box Programming, who put together the workouts I'll be performing. I have been with them for over a year now. Workouts Molten for lending me gym equipment during lockdown for the third time, OBP Music for letting me use their tune, and Jamie for helping put together designs for my YouTube channel. I have left a link in the description for each of their socials, so please do go check them out. So heading into part of this workout, I was a little bit nervous as I think I knew before it started how much it was going to burn my shoulders. It is an evil combination of movements, but I suppose that's what CrossFit is about. No workout is ever easy. So into the workout and starting with dumbbell thrusters, which is a squat into an overhead press. There's a few key things to think about here, which um, is keeping our core engaged throughout the lift and keeping the chest high as we lower into the squat position. From the squat position, we drive our heels into the ground and use the drive of our legs to help push the dumbbell overhead and lock out the arm. We want to keep our grip relaxed as much as possible to save those forearms which will help when performing the double unders. So double unders, possibly the most frustrating movement in CrossFit, taking months to actually string a few together, but we want to make sure we are jumping three inches off the ground, as well as keeping the rope close to the body to keep it nice and warm. Anyway, I'll be quiet for now and let you watch the rest of the part here. Yeah. 
we're coming to the end of part A. I'm just finishing the last set of double unders. Overall, the thrusters felt good and comfortable. However, I do only have one dumbbell, which did make it easier by being able to swap arms each round. Obviously, if I had two dumbbells, then that would have made it a lot harder for me. Double unders, where to begin? As I said, a very frustrating movement in CrossFit, one that took me ages to just string a few reps together. It is a movement that requires time, effort, and most of all, patience. As you will have seen throughout, the, throughout part A, they were a little bit sketchy. A few sets I managed to go unbroken. However, I did trip over the rope a few times, which is something that I definitely need to smooth out before the Open begins. I finished part A on around 11 minutes, leaving me with five minutes remaining for as many handstand push-ups as possible. Before we head into part B, a few key things to consider for when performing handstand push-ups. We must keep our core engaged to protect our spine and keep it neutral throughout the movement. It is a movement that requires a lot of upper body strength. Therefore, it can be skilled for other movements such as pike push-ups and other modified push-ups, which will help to develop the push strength needed to get those handstand push-ups. I started part B by aiming for sets of five reps, knowing that the reps would decrease to threes and twos as time went on. And I believe I ended part B with a total of 35 reps and one failed rep. Overall, I was happy with the score, especially when you take into consideration the total amount of reps completed for each movement. I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of the workout now. If you have enjoyed the video, then please hit the like and subscribe button. Your support is highly appreciated. I'll see you in the next video to my own part two. Stay safe.